Okay, so the next thing to take a look at is the Move Folder Wizard, which is new for this particular build of Veil. Vale. Sorry, you must get used to that. Windows Home Server 2011. Uh, this basically is the technology that Microsoft have included to replace Drive Extender. And what it basically does is allow you to select a folder and then select a drive you'd like it moved to and have Home Server actually move it for you. Now unfortunately that's as far as it goes in terms of being automatic. You actually have to select the folder yourself. Home Server won't detect that you're running out of disk space, pick a folder and move it for you, which is a shame. But who knows, maybe that will come in the future or someone will write an add-in. But anyway, let's take a quick look at this particular cap capability and technology. So if we click on the Server Folders and Hard Drives tab, we can see that at the moment all of the folders are server folders are currently located on the D drive. Now I've got quite a lot of disk space left, so for the sake of this, just assume that I'm running low on disk space. If we click on the hard drives tab, we can see that I've currently only got a C drive, which is my system, and D, which is my folder store. So the first thing I need to actually do is plug in uh, another drive be it an internal or an external drive. Again, for the sake of this example, to make it easier, I'm gonna plug in an external hard drive. Right, as you can see, the new volume has just appeared. It's as the F drive. And you can see the little image there which probably doesn't come out very well on the video but effectively that shows you that it's an external drive. It's plugged in its USB hard drive and I've got about 112 gig free. Now what I can do is I can click back on the server folders tab and I can pick a folder that I'd like to move to the new drive. So in this case let's pick the stuff folder and if I go over here and I click move the folder the move folder wizard appears uh, and it's advising me that I should back up the server and that ensure that none of the files in the folder are open in use. Uh, and it also basically tells me that while the move is in progress, don't add files to the folder as the added files won't be moved. So I've clicked next. Now it's going to calculate the size of the folder. Now in, in this case it's only 3.28 gig, but it could be any size folder that you're currently using and it gives me two options as a new location either the C drive which we really don't want to put anything on because that's our system drive or the F drive which is my new drive so it's telling me that so I've selected that and I click move folder it's telling me that it's an external drive and it's really advising me that external drives are not really good idea now to use for long-term storage attached to home server because they can easily be disconnected. What it's basically saying is it recommends internal drives now. However, a lot of people are still gonna be using external drives and I still don't see an issue with that. So for this, we're gonna carry on. So I'm gonna click next. And now it's moving. Basically it stops the share. It's now starting to copy the data over. And again, depending on the amount of data in that particular folder or folders, this can take anywhere from a few moments to hours and hours so bear in mind that depending on what you want to move you could be waiting quite a long time just be patient what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here and we'll come back in a few moments when it's almost finished. So don't be surprised to see it suddenly jump up. I'm just saving everybody from seeing you having to uh, watch the whole thing. So back in a moment. Right, and as you can see, it says the folder was moved successfully. The original location was the D drive, server folders, stuff, and the new location is the F drive, server folders, stuff. 
It's then telling you to open the server backup configuration to verify the folder is selected for backup. I'm not going to do this for this demo because I've actually disabled the server backups. But if you have server backups running, this is what you should actually do now. But otherwise, you can just click close. And that is it. As you can now see, everything is on the D drive except for this particular one, which is on the F drive. And if you open it up, you can see what's in it. And uh, that's it.